Oh, you little bollocks. Sorry to start the video with such rudeness. So I don't know who this lovely horse is, <laughs> but we've made friends. We've made friends. This Ruby. I made a... Um... <laughs> can you just back off so we can film you? Beautiful, beautiful horse. So we've come for a second attempt to visit my 95-year-old father who asked for me on his alleged deathbed in the hospital and whom I was allowed to visit once under supervision a week ago. And against my better judgment and probably straight from the spirit, I said, um, I'll visit you once a week for as long as you stay alive, Dad. Because I don't want you to go to heaven without being right with God. And when I... <laughs> this dog, this horse wants my coffee. And when I, when I said to Dad, all right, sweetheart, <laughs> I wish you'd go back so I could film you properly. You cannot have my coffee. No, that's not for horses. And I'm not bringing sugar. Right, so when I visited my dad a week ago with witnesses, um, Alana and um, Dean, my nephew and niece, and my son Josh, and I, said, I spent an hour with my dad, psychopath, trafficker, abuser, sorry to say it, but I spent an hour with him in the spirit of forgiveness and said, is there anything you want to say? And he said, <laughs> this horse will not back off enough to come into focus. Ruby, Ruby, no, no, Ruby, horses are your friends. Right, I'm going to sit down again. When I said to my dad, is there anything you want to say? He said, yes, please stay. Hello, sweetie. <laughs> And so I said, I'll, I'll, I'll visit once a week. And um, the gatekeepers, it's the most literal translation. <laughs> this horse loves me so much. She won't get out of shot. When I said, I'll visit once a week. Um, no. The literal gatekeepers, Kathy Power of Lambeth County Council and uh, Amory Galligan of Rainbow Farm. Uh, have him locked down and when I arrive I've spoken to the guards three times today and they're going to visit me regarding this situation but whilst waiting I came to see if I could visit my father and you know what's really disturbing he's been moved he's been moved his hospital bed in his bedroom is empty so he's either gone over to Rainbow Farm, which is locked up like a fortress. It's all right, baby. Now, now put your ears forward. I'm your friend, right? So Rainbow Farm, he's either locked up there or they will have escalated things. All I can say is Liverpool pathway. Liverpool pathway. Let me see if I can get this beautiful horse. <laughs> she loves me so much. She won't, she, like, she won't get far enough away for me to get her. In <laughs> anyway, this is the four acres. Uh, the only four acres Sharon and Emery have not thus far got signed over from my father. That's my house. That's my dream house in the distance that I designed. <laughs> the horse is... <laughs> You're so funny. Let's see if I can go big. I don't know if I can get it. Right. We'll just go back to normal size. This horse loves me so much. She's just not going to pose. That's my dream house. <laughs> I'm going to give you a name if somebody doesn't name you. Here's how you whisper a horse. You breathe up their nose. No carrots necessary. 
no sugar lumps. You just breathe up their nose and talk to them. Anyway, so that's it. My sister Kathy, uh, what age is I'm 64, 66 years old, was having a cigarette in the porch. And when I drew up with my dog, with some homemade chicken soup and some aftershave from my father, she ran inside and locked the doors. Oh my God. Now listen, beautiful horse, let me take a picture of you. Like, just don't follow me. <laughs> no, the horse loves me. All right, bye, people.